What's your favorite Madonna song? Whether it's Like a Virgin, Hung Up, or the techno edit of Celebration, Madonna is as present as ever. But it's not just her music. Madonna is also an important icon and pioneer of sexual liberation in Western pop culture. So let's look at her sulfurous legacy. When Madonna came to the scene in the early 80s, US TV and radio were censored AF. Sexuality was not allowed on MTV, and coming from women, it was deemed disgusting and unacceptable. But it didn't take Madonna long to challenge the prude status quo of pop. Her erotic dancing in Open Your Heart was already bending the limits of what was accepted in 1986, again, especially coming from a woman. Four years later, in 1990, it was time for a real scandal. Justify My Love's hot back and forth between Madonna and her then-boyfriend was just too much to handle. MTV banned it. Which is ironic, because it's an adult couple consenting to do whatever it is that they're doing. And so many artists, especially female artists, end up being sexualized against their own will. Can we please, please mention Brooke Shields in Pretty Baby and the fact that she was 11 when she filmed it? Which just goes to show that if a woman chooses to express her sexuality, willingly sexualizes herself, that's not okay in the eyes of society. And that's why Madonna wouldn't be Madonna if she didn't capitalize on her own controversy. When her horny clip for Justify My Love was banned from MTV, she promptly released it as a video single. And guess what? To this day, it is the best-selling video single of all time. However, her artistic expression isn't just for fun. She believed in everyone's right, especially women's, to express their sexuality and desires. At the same time, this success also showed to a male-dominated industry that over-sexualizing young women and teenagers could bring them a ton of cash. I mean, we all remember the formatted female representations in pop culture that followed, such as Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears. Fast forward to the 2020s, and now we have Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Lizzo, Anita, and many others reclaiming their right to sexual expression with a more diverse set of voices and representations. Isn't it cool to know for next time someone asks you? 